I may say. I feel like we started this video, we've already been sat here like an hour talking. Um, so we are going to do a uh, who's the most likely to video. Now I know this has been done a lot of times by other people and I got the idea from a couple of other YouTube channels as well. So I've got quite a few questions, but I think what best to do is just like, if we think of any other ones, let's go with it. Yeah, definitely. I think what's gonna be, oh, this is Hayley, by the way. <laughs> if you've not met Hayley before, I'll link all her channel um, and social media in the description box. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, I know this would be a really interesting video to do because although me and Hayley get on very very well we've not really known each other that long so i think these questions will be interesting for us i think they'll be quite difficult for some of them yeah but i think obviously it'll be interesting i haven't seen any of these questions yet yeah way. yeah so i don't know i feel like they're going to be very interesting i don't know if we'll get many of them right but we'll, <laughs> but see. we'll see so we've got our little cards can we see those I hope we can see those. Yes. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Number one. Who is most likely to cry in public? Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely think me. The only reason I would say that is because I don't think I've cried yet in public. What? Really. But I've seen you cry. That was the only reason. Yeah. I, um, I mean, I am a crier, but that was the reason for my. I, I am such. Like, I can watch a video of a dog and cry. See, I'm not that I'm sort like of person. I'm, I'm a crier in terms of, like, I'm quite emotional. Yeah. But I really have to struggle. Like, I've really tried to cry when I've seen films. You try because I'm like, I know this is sad and I know I'm a bad human being if I'm not crying. Come on, you can do this. <laughs> Squeeze those <Okay>. tears. <laughs> <laughs> but films and stuff don't make me cry. Oh, I'm such don't watch films with me. I'll make you cry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't cry. <laughs> Who's the most likely to forget birthdays? struggle with that one I think if once I know someone's the thing with me is that if I know someone's birthday is in a certain month I don't know when your birthday is I found out yours like an hour ago I just told you when mine was yeah. when is your birthday March 7th we've never had this conversation no though. May 28th and now I'll remember it yours yeah. is at the end of May yeah I would always remember like where they like which month they fall in. Yeah, but I would say. I, I, I'm not great with like specific dates. No. I have now got into the hang of putting them in my calendar there. So have I. That's annual. Yeah. Week before. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, equally. <laughs> Most likely to get drunk. Ready? Three, two, one. I think, I think I can handle my alcohol quite well. Yeah. But I do also like to have a drink, but only like on odd occasions. Cause I don't, I know you don't drink very frequently. No. That was why I went for Gemma because, you see that was a hard one again, because I've, I've never known Gemma when I've not been in prep. So she's got drunk a couple of times and yeah. I haven't, yeah. but that's because I've been in prep. Mm. But because I've been in prep, to be fair, next time I drink, <laughs> I'm just probably gonna say. me. <laughs> York's gonna be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Most likely to leave a show or the cinema if you're not enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite blunt and upfront, and I'm like, I'm not wasting my time. This is <sighs> rubbish. I wish I could be like that. Yeah. I I will literally sit there and fidget and think this is awful. I've sat through a film before and it was two and a half hours long and just hated every second. But I can't be that person to 
like I hate getting up to go to the toilet in the cinema because oh, you, I do you're that. gonna distract people. Yeah, I always do that though because obviously I drink quite a lot and yeah. it's needed. Yeah, definitely me. I'm definitely the more blunt one. <laughs> up it's don't care what people say. Just sorry, everyone. <laughs> this yeah, is rubbish feelings. <laughs> Likely to text something to the wrong person. <laughs> Just because, yeah, I I do that whole thing where you text someone because you're thinking of, like, if you're texting about some someone or a situation. I've done it before where I've texted that person because I've gone onto their, that situation. Yeah. See, I I tend to, you know, if you if you're speaking to a lot of people at once in different conversations. Mm. And you send the. It's not necessarily like sending something about someone, because I don't like to speak about people. But if you're like, say I was having a conversation with you, and I was having a conversation with Paul, and then someone else, and the conversations just kind yeah. of get mixed up, and then yeah. you're like, oh, well, what conversation? Can I just clarify that when I did that, I was speaking about someone's birthday present, and I text them. I wasn't being a really horrible human being. Yeah, I just texted them their birthday present and said, you ruined the surprise? Is it a surprise? <laughs> <laughs> so you actually ruined the surprise? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, is that it, it sounds like if it, someone's on my mind, then, then I'll just sort of like type it in instead of, yeah. <laughs> so don't tell me anything you don't want to be kept secret. <laughs> Who is most likely to go on holiday on their own? I'm ready for show. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. I think just because I know you with your with Paul and you would do quite a lot of with Paul. That is true, but if he wasn't on the scene, I do like my own company. Yeah. Because we're such saddos and we don't have any friends and, and we just like to sit on our own. Oh my god, Hayley. I think you? because of what we do, we both spend quite a lot of time on our own. Yeah. Like at our laptops and stuff. I do. So we're quite good in our own company. I do quite enjoy the thought of just booking a hotel and I can see ya. Yeah. No one there, no one that knows me. Although, could you imagine if someone that, you, that followed you was like, oh my god, I've just seen in a hotel on her own. <laughs> I feel like we'd be the sort of people though to go on our own and do that, but then text each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having such a great time on my own, honestly. <laughs> but we would, I yeah. think. Yeah. But then again, if see if we were to go travelling, like I I I am so meticulous with timing and I freak out with airports. See, I was so gonna I, say, I didn't think you were a good flyer. I don't know why. I don't I like. In my head. No, no, I don't like f flying, like landing and taking off. Which is why I put me. Yeah. But I think I, think I would be quite good at like booking somewhere and going and just doing it. See, I think I'd be better booking a flight and going on my own. Yeah. But you'd be more likely to book a hotel in England. And yeah. Just go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we should have rephrased the question. Yeah. No. That would go us out. <laughs> Who's most likely to say something to a close friend if they've annoyed you? It goes back to what we just said about the cinema, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm quite an upfront person. I don't like confrontation. Like, I, I would, if someone's annoyed me, I would say something, but I wouldn't say something. I would probably leave it until things have kind of simmered down a little bit. Mm. But I do let things work me up inside. Which is See, not I, the best. I don't enjoy confrontation, but because I overthink everything, if I don't say it, I will, will. I won't sleep, and I'll just. And I know that about myself now. Yeah. And so I will just say it because I know that it's easier, and also because I know that I'd rather someone just tell me if I've annoyed them or done something. That That's I'd, a good point, actually. That I'd rather they just said to yeah. me, and therefore now I would just say, and I do say to people. <laughs> You're really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite like that, but yeah, if someone's upset me, I'm a lot better now at just being like, actually, that did upset me. That's really good though. Yeah. I'm just the person who would walk around and 
bring up a month later. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, probably. Unless, unless, well, a close friend, probably different, but if it's someone else, I, I just let things simmer. Mm. And I'm like, you know, the, the little things that just like push you over the edge, and then I'd probably burst about everything. Yeah. I need to get better at that. You knew a Christmas challenge could make you <laughs> change your life. <laughs> Who's the most likely to change a tire? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I have no clue. I'm useless at anything like that. In the cars. I think I'm quite good. I don't know how to change a tire, but I would find out. Mm. And I would do it. I'm, I'm really quite good with cars. Probably because my two previous cars to now have. Uh, had some, no interest, <laughs> had some interesting things happen to them. Um, they served me well. I've had a, a wheel fall off and while I was driving. Oh my god. It, did, it didn't fall off, it just like detached itself and spun around the opposite way. Oh, Jesus. That was interesting. Also scary. I did cry in public then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just ring my dad and be like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, no, that's not usually my phone call. Although I don't think right now that's feasible. But mind you, your parents are yeah. very <laughs> Help! Oh. Stuck. Um, yeah. I'll be there in four and a half hours. hours. <laughs> Who is most likely to re-watch the same TV shows over and over again? Because I do. I do. Yeah. Do you know the one thing that irritates me now is the fact that no one has DVD players and in the cupboard I have the full Friends box set and the full Sex and the City box set and I don't have anything to watch them on. I had to buy a disc drive for my laptop because mm. my laptop doesn't even have a disc drive anymore. That doesn't. So annoying. Again, first world problems. Massively, but still. But yeah, park it seems to me. Just throw them away. Oh I'll, buy, I'll buy them online for you, like we can download them, just throw them away and I'm like, do you realise how long I've had these? These are going to be like an heirloom to my family, I'm going to yeah. pass them down. He was in my good books before this. <laughs> it's gone down in my estimations. But yeah, things, and the same films. And YouTube videos I watch oh, as yeah. well. Over and over and over again. Yeah. Is that sad? Maybe we need to Probably. get out of I think, yeah, maybe it's actually because we're quite similar that we're going... I think... Yeah. No, that's quite good. Yeah, so uh, you need to join the party and watching the same things again, baby. Oh, this is an easy one. Who's the most likely to complain in a restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> and I did on Monday. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because they just didn't bring our coffees. And it was my post show breakfast. And, and I saw your post cold. about this. Yeah. I just, do you know what, in all honesty, I'm more likely to complain for someone else than I am for myself. And my mum's exactly the same, I get it from my mum. Yeah. Like, if my breakfast is cold or something, like we went to, for breakfast mm -hmm. a couple of, like, a couple of months ago, and Jess's breakfast was cold. Mm -hmm. So I was like, right, her breakfast is cold, but I'll sit there and endure, but I just want everything to be perfect for everyone else. See, I, I would do that. If it was my food, I wouldn't, I'd just suck it up and eat it. Like if it had a hair in it, or if it was cold, I would, I think I would, I would not make a fuss about it, but I know that someone else that I was with would say something. Mm. Whereas if it was yours, I wouldn't want you to not enjoy your food. Yeah. So I would say something. Mm. And I, although I did complain about mine well, that time mm. because my eggs weren't running. Did you ask for the money as well? Yeah. Well, they see, always come running. Yeah, see, that's just. And weird. then they did take them back and do it and apologise. Do you know what irritates me though? When you get food and like everything else is warm, for instance, and they take your eggs back, they redo your eggs and it comes back and all the rest of your food is cold. Yeah, and it's like, you just swap my eggs. <laughs> Don't care for me. <laughs> Just put it under the heat lamp and then yeah. it all comes back like hard and crispy. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I think because we stick to our diet plans and stuff, mm -hmm. when we don't, we want everything to be perfect because it's That's quite so a big deal. It's such a little bit. It's good. I'm not picking the other products. 
<laughs> Who's most likely to pick their nose in public? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't pick my nose in public. I do itch it because I feel like I get. No, can you get hay fever? No. Oh my god, it's the worst thing. It's not the worst thing, but it is. It's not. It's not. It's... Yeah, I I go to the toilet and blow my nose. See, I really dislike blowing my nose. I do it. Don't get me wrong. That sounds awful. Yeah. I do blow my nose, but I don't like the feeling of blowing my nose. Yeah, I know what you mean. It really grosses me out. Mm. Yeah, but no, I wouldn't pick my nose in public. I just like itch it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, and they're like. Ooh. I think that's it. I think we're up. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's do that last one. Most likely to fall asleep during a party. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's boring me, you're all annoying me, I'm just gonna sleep. <laughs> I'm useless. I literally 9.30, I'm out. What? Yeah. To be fair, the last few days have been 10pm. Yeah, but that's that's like pushing the boat out. Yeah, massively. Yeah, that's that's pre like competi post competition. Mm. Like, it's Christmas. You've been like life and soul party. Yeah, quarter past ten. Woo! One gin and tonic down on the floor. <laughs> Should do a. Would it be against the rules to do a video after a few glasses of wine? I think we should do a Q and A or something. Yeah. Uh, uh, in York, in after we've had a few baby sweat chocolates. If you have any questions, pop them in the description below or like comment on either of our Instagrams because that could get quite interesting. Yeah. Like for next funny. week, so yeah. we, could, we could do that. But yeah, no. falling asleep in the party, I am probably, usually, unless I can't handle my drink, I'm usually the last one. Are you? Yeah. I'm never the last one. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. I think we've learned a little bit about each other. And I hope yeah. you guys have as well. <laughs> and like and subscribe, obviously. Oh. Same goes for Hayley. So like I said, all her information will be in the description box below. Come say hi. And happy vlogmas. Happy vlogmas. Ah! Oh, I did the annoying kissy thing. Yeah, <laughs> I get wiped. <laughs> God, every time.